So we're here at the Computex 2011 and uh, we're comparing uh, the iPad. This is iPad 1 and this is the latest uh, Pixel G implementation, or one of the latest. Yeah. And as you can see out here outdoors, well it's possible to see some of the iPads sometimes, but uh, right here... It's about to rain too, so it's not so bright. It could be more sun, there could be more sun here outdoors. There's no sun. <laughs> So um, right here, it's using a. It's not a capacitive screen. It's using a. What is this screen technology? This is an IR R, IR technology on touch on this one. But we also have projected capacitance, and we've really worked on uh, integrating really great touch solutions. So there you can compare. All right. That's so, at maximum brightness. So what what are you showing here right now at Computex? We're showing a bunch of new screens. This is uh, the, the, our 10-inch 10 1024 by 600 that's been shipping for some time, but we're showing some enhancements to it, some better integration of touch and surface technology, as well as a new 7-inch that's 1024 by 600 and a new 10.1-inch that's 1280 by 800 and with 3.0 compatibility. So you actually have a pretty big booth. Let's walk over there. And, uh... Yeah, we do. And we've got a bunch of new products that we're showing. Basically, We've gotten into high volume mass production in, in several different uh, products. So this is your booth, this uh, big booth. Big booth. Yes. It's the biggest booth you've had at Computex so far. What did, what did you have the previous times? We had a suite, a private suite. This is our first public booth. Right. First public booth. So uh, let's go over there and check out the, okay. the demos. So what are these? These are the 10 inch screen that we've had in production for some time. Backlight on, backlight off, transflective mode with a little bit of both. So you, they're very viewable, they're, they're wider view and it just makes the point, what we really do is make screens and they go into all different kinds of products, laptops, tablets verticals in interesting new applications that we'll show in the next room. And then here we have some of the interesting tablet configurations. Oops. So this is, this is just a, a what's it called, a Renaissance is doing a, like a tablet reference design kind of device, right? And yeah. uh, what is this one? That's um, just a tablet. Uh, this is a uh, tablet with a uh, wide view just with a nice touch screen integration. Um, using projected capacitance, and there is a just a straight netbook, just to, to really make the point. Again, we make the screens, and they go into a variety of different uh, products. We make a component. Let's check the 12, 1280. Yeah, and so in here we have some of our customers' products, a variety like uh, boy, these guys have a bunch of new tablets coming out. Shizu technology, part of um, the largest conglomerate of newspapers in. In southern mainland China. So this is a real tablet with a real Pixel Tree inside. Yeah. And uh, is their design, and how far is it away from possibly shipping? They've just announced they're planning to uh, mass produce this in the second half of this year, and these are a uh, new seven-inch design that they're al they've also designed a tablet for. And it's a real Pixel Tree seven-inch in this design. Yeah. First time we see a Pixel uh, seven-inch inside some. Inside some, yeah, and they've got some others here, some different different solutions. So here, over here on this far wall, we have uh, the new our new our new 12 inch sorry our new 10 inch 1280 by 800 right here, and our new 7 inch 1024 by 600, and this is you know backlight on backlight off, uh, but it's it's working. It's about to go into Mass production towards the end of Q3 this year is the target. And this one will go into MP. This is the very first sample that we've gotten. This is scheduled for mass production. MP means mass production. Mass production in Q4. So this one is now gotten really thin. Yeah, this is a slight, very slim, um, very nice small board. Um, really kind of extraordinary electronic design on the pixels. And it's quite a lot thinner than this one, right? The yep, previous one. Yep, the previous one was the standard thickness when we shipped it. This one is coming in different sizes of the backlight we're showing 
a standard, I think, four, four millimeter thickness, but we do have a design for a two and a half, I think, millimeter thickness. Is that what this is? This one is about, as I recall, three, but we can go slimmer and, again, this is the very first prototype of, of this one. So how do you make it so thin? What is the technology Well, that's involved? the backlight technology and uh, really um, rethinking uh, some things on our design in order to enable the thinness. So it's like, uh, you, you, did, what did you change? Is there anything that you lose by making the, the, the whole device thinner? Or? Uh, no, it's, uh, we've been very focused on designing the, the glass. The, the, the substrates, the, the every layer of the um, TFT matrix, the liquid crystal, the polarizer films, and making that work well with the backlight. So it's a whole systems rethinking to slim it down, and that's what we've been working on. So you have announced that you have big partners to, to make them, right? You have announced that you have two. What you have announced? What have you announced? In terms of so, the manufacturers, up, CBT is the number two mid-size LCD manufacturer in the world, and they're making these screens. And then our first manufacturer is CMI, the number one mid-size LCD manufacturer in the world. CMI, CMI went through a merger and acquisition, the largest one in the history of Taiwan, about 15 months ago. So we've been working with them for a long time, and uh, we've been in mass production of these screens with them for a long time through the M&A process, which is always a, a challenge, but, but we've got a good relationship with them. And we've got, you know, some pro different products shipping with the screen from, from our screen that CMI mass produces. Here, um, this is interesting, it takes a bank card or does a scanning and here's a, you know, it's for an outdoor cafe kind of thing. It takes a tablet and here's the tablet I think we've already seen. Here's a Another tablet. The Shogo. Freescale power. The Shogo tablet. I'm trying to... Yeah. Okay, we're going to need some help on that yeah. one. That's Notion Inc. The Adam. So there has been some reviews about this. Uh, what was their implementation? It was the first kind of commercial Pixel G. What did they do? They, they didn't do the, the, the matte layer, right? Yeah, so this shows, this shows the matte layer. And basically we've done uh, a better job integrating the touch screen and we working with Notion Inc. too. They had some teething pains, I think, and as is normal, and being the first. But, you know, the product is, is very good. I'm pretty happy with, with what they've done, and we're supporting them and, and helping them ever improve it. So there was SID uh, last week, and yes. uh, what does Pixel Chi do as SID? What did you do? SID is called Display Week, and it's the largest display conference in the world, and it was last week in Los Angeles. So we were there, we presented a couple of papers and some talks, and we were hiring because we're growing the team to scale the technology up. In fact, Pixel Chi, uh, as far as we know, has the fastest ramp of any new display technology recorded in the last 30 years. We've already shipped 3 million units, which is actually unbelievable. The last time that happened was when LCD itself just started, 1968 to about 1971, when it went into wristwatches and calculators. No other display technology has achieved that ramp, and so we're, we're growing the team to meet the demand. We're in many products, some more that you'll show here, and many more that are, are going through an announcement stage in the near future. So what kind of people do you hire? We're looking for almost everybody, uh, engineers, sales, um, you know, finance. Um, but what does it take to be an a engineer in the, the most cutting edge uh, screen technology? It's not many people can do that, right? We want people that uh, are, have some experience in multidisciplinary teams. We think the key to our success is hiring really gifted people in different display or, you know, electronics or manufacturing or optics or liquid crystals or Op, you know, optical film tip, backlight technology, and on uh, process engineering, and put it, putting them together in the same room to design new screens with new performance. And in a normal LCD fab, those types of people are either, you know, running the fab with 3,000 people reporting to them, or they work in different buildings, even different towns and cities, and it, it's hard for them to collaborate, particularly on a screen technology because you actually need to see it um, in order to understand how to improve it. It's, 
it's hard to work distant. People will travel halfway around the world just to see a screen and go back because it's a biological analog experience. And so we need those people, really top, best, and class designers and engineers and technical people um, to work together closely uh, on, on new screen ideas. We have a very rich roadmap. We're very ambitious of what we can do. We think our technology will be the dominant display technology in five years. How, how, do, you, how do you design your roadmap? How does it work? Do you have all your... your, your, your you're around the table and you think, or how does it work? We do. <laughs> we sit around the table uh, twice a week, Tuesdays and Friday mornings. The entire team sits around the table, and we, we carve out some time to think about what we can do in the future and to review what we, what we thought we could do in the future in a, on a routine basis. So how soon does it go down to one hertz and all these things that, that put the power down to nothing? It's interesting. We're working on a one hertz and also a bi-stable technology. And so we have some technology there. The question is when we roll it out. And we're getting some pull to do the super high contrast, super wide viewing angle, and super high color saturation first. But the one hertz and the bi-stable is very attractive for extreme low power. But it, it's a bit market driven from our customers because we get to exist if we engage some of the largest factories that have ever been made. And for that to work, their economics work, we need to ship very high volume. So we need to have customers willing to commit to, to large purchase orders almost before we start the design. And so for that, the, the product and the platform need to be established. All right. So, that we're sort of driven in that direction while we create a rich roadmap and work on the R&D side, sort of behind the scenes. And you're thinking about 4.3 inch? We are considering a 4.3 inch, also larger sizes, and we're figuring out what our next sizes will be. These are the sizes for this year, plus perhaps a 9.7 that we've completed the design for. That's a very high contrast and very wide viewing angle, and we're signing up our, our third fab right now to make that screen. And uh, that might hit the end of this year. It might be early next year. It's, it's touch and go like that. All right. Thanks.